Hi friends, in this session we will be discussing about how to create a calculation view using dimension category. Okay. For this, let's go into the service system. Okay. Then we'll be going into the content folder, be going to our package, and then underneath the package, right click and then click on calculation view. Here we will be assigning the name for the calculation view. So here what I'm giving is calculation view Dim dimension category del so one dim one okay and then the view type will be the calculation view and subtype will be standard. We have two types right one is graphical and one is script. so we'll be selecting as the default one which is graphical here in the data category we are selecting as dimension we have three types here one is cube dimension and this blank right this is nothing but space category we'll discuss later about these three okay as of now we are discussing only about dimension category now dimension category is nothing but our attribute view in the, uh, in the previous session we have created an attribute view right okay now nowadays we are not using attribute views anymore attribute views are obsolete these attribute views are obsolete so instead of using the attribute views we are directly creating calculation views so uh, by using the dimension category we can create a attribute view okay and then click on finish okay here in the, uh, the moment you click on finish the, uh, the calculation view with dimension category appears like this so you'll be having semantics and the projection okay the projection we are using the we are consuming the ECC table which we have created uh, okay in the previous attribute view we have consumed the same ECC table right through the same uh, SLT schema okay so I'm using the same thing or a clear better at this time okay then I'm adding these fields to the output okay and then click on semantics here we have added these fields to the output then click on semantics and then you can see you can see in that in the type now the now you can see only the attributes you will not see any measures here because the, this is a dimension category so dimension category will carry only attributes attributes so you can see similar to the uh, attributes just I'll just show you how the attribute view appears Okay. see you can see right you can see uh, in the data in the attribute view you can see what the type as attributes are. so similarly in the calculation view also you can see the type as attributes only so even if this particular table consists measures yet those measures will be shown as will be projected as attributes only okay and then click on view properties instead of session client we'll be giving a cross line cross client and then click on save and validate okay and then click on activation 
now activate it. Okay, click on data preview. Here is the data. Okay, in this way, we have created a calculation view using ECC table. Okay, and this is how our data appears.